Hey, so uh, doing that unboxing of the motorcycle parts, I realized I've really never done a pipe uh, unboxing. So I got an exciting package here. I'll just go ahead and open it and I'll tell you who it's from. Uh, got lucky with this one. But yeah, I don't know why I've never done a pipe unboxing. Mainly because the boxes never really make it through my front door without being open. I'll kind of take all this stuff out here and then show you what it is. Most of you'll know the second you see the box. Let's make sure we get everything there. So, I got a Boswell's pipe. Uh, and it's funny because the timing um, not that I badmouthed them, I just, uh, I just addressed, uh, what I thought about, uh, the company in my last pipe video, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's strange, and it's still really tough to get one of these pipes, but I went on, I think it was the next day after I made that video, and I was able to, uh, one, there was a pipe that I really liked, and it was still available on the website, so I, uh, I picked it up. So let's look at what we got here. It's a bigger size pipe. Yeah. That's a cool one. Now, this stem color, I this is my first really uh, non-traditional stem color as far as uh, it being colored at all. I don't have anything else that's like that. That's a big pipe for sure. Kind of rusticated, bent, uh, kind of volcano there, I guess you could call it. Sort of brandy, I suppose. Really nice. Big, big pipe. Definitely looks bigger than uh, what it looked like on the website. Uh, it looks like they included a sample of uh, vanilla cream for me. And then I ordered a bunch of other tobacco as well. Uh, more vanilla cream, uh, five ounces of Christmas cookie, we got uh, five ounces of Spice and Ice, and eight ounces of uh, Northwoods. I am really excited about trying this. Um, I've been meaning to order some for a long, long time now, um, but I just wanted to wait until I found a pipe I liked to get all this stuff. But uh, the Northwoods I'm extremely excited about. The Spice and Ice, uh, I know a lot of you out there have... Uh, have said that it's a really nice blend. Um, and, you know, again with the aromatics, I'm not a huge aromatics fan, but I keep hearing good things about their aromatics, so I'll give it a try. I've got other people I can give this stuff to if I don't really like it, so give that a try there. They included some pipe cleaners and even a pipe tool. That's really nice. It's the personal touch kind of thing. I mean, you can order pipes from, you know, the big, uh, the big websites, and, uh, well, I mean, let's take Smoking Pipes, for example, smokingpipes.com. Um, you can order really nice, I ordered uh, an Ashton recently from them, and uh, I received a, a complimentary pack of tobacco with it, that's, that's a nice thing to do. But I order from, you know, bigger, bigger name online vendors, and you get what you pay for, they don't really, uh, it's not that they don't appreciate your business, but you definitely don't get extras as long, uh, you know. Pipe tool, pipe cleaners, that's kind of gone from the equation, so granted you're not buying a custom handmade pipe uh, of theirs, but uh, this is a really nice, really nice way of doing this. Their, their own boxes, everything like that, it's really nice. Got like a description on the back. It's really cool. So yeah, um, look for me to be smoking this pipe in a video here. I'm going to go grab uh, some of my new pipes that I've purchased in the last week or two here and show you those as well. One second here. Alright, so you can see here we've got uh, more pipes. I'm getting pretty close to the end of collecting pipes as far as, I, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it anymore, but I'm good for a while here. I've got some ridiculous things and my rack's starting to get full and uh, I really have a lot of pipes that I really wanted and uh, getting close to uh, to the point where I'm, you know, not using a lot of them frequently, so that's there's no point in having a pipe you're not smoking. Um, so I picked up this giant Peterson that I found um, at my local shop. It's just huge. I 
I forget, man, I forget what they called it. It's one of their handmade series, very, very limited production, but you can see just, it's a big fellow for a Peterson. But it's a P-Lip and, you know, it'll smoke for an hour or two. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I finally picked up some Tinsky pipes uh, from Mark Tinsky. This is the, uh, let's see, that's the 2010 Christmas pipe. Just beautiful. He calls them a coral finish. Really neat, neat rustication. Just really like, uh, really craggy. And then, you know, it's finished over that. So it's a really neat look to it. Uh, and you can see the lighter color wood embellishment. And then he puts his, uh, the star in the in the stem there. See that? So I got that one, and then I, I had wanted this one for a while, and I finally got that one. It's pretty similar to that other coral shape there. But, uh, so that camera focuses there, there we go. Really nice, uh, neat design. Really cool billiard. Uh, I picked up a Dunhill State Pipe. Really neat, small, uh, shallow. This is a shell briar from them, Sam Blasted. Really cool pipe, just really interesting. You don't really see that very often, really saucer kind of shaped. Cheap too, like 100 bucks. They had this listed in the shop for, so definitely pick that up. It's got, you can see a smooth bottom. It's almost like a spoon or something. And then uh, they had a, you know, a dress vent. I picked that up. I've been eyeballing this for a while now. Not cheap. But it's a really nice unsmoked Dunhill. Uh, let's see what year. Uh, 2006, so pretty new. Reasonable price for, for an unspoke Dunhill though. I think this was uh, $350. But really nice pipe. I, I like that one a lot. I think I'll smoke this one at my wedding probably. Save that one for a special occasion. But yeah, that's it. That's all the new, uh, new members of the family here. So just wanted to show you guys the finally an unboxing video and uh, got the uh, group of pipes here. So I'm gonna go Arrange the cabinet here and uh, get back to you guys later.